Good morning, everybody. What's happening? It's your guy here, Samuel Smith, AKA the Bushcraft Bodybuilder. I'm coming out here today to kind of go over, experiment, play with, and showcase some new outdoor gear from Outdoor Elements. Uh, it's a cool new company that I've just partnered with, and I'm trying to find a nice little spot to get set up over here. But while I'm doing that, let's have a quick word from our sponsor. This episode is brought to you in part by Malone Knife and Tool Company. American-made tools for outdoorsmen. Shop online at MaloneKnives.com. All right, it looks like I found a nice little spot here in this uh, dried up creek bed. I'm gonna run a line across, which way am I doing this? This way, run a line across this way right here and uh, get set up. So let's check it out. Similar, very similar to the same type of webbing that a lot of the new hammocks come with to the ham hang your hammock. It's got a loop at this end that you pass this end through and that will hook up to the tree on one side. And then it's just got a basic plastic buckle system on the other end that you can manipulate the size of to click up to the other part of the tree. Adjust this just a little bit. A little tighter over here. There we go. That's my Charlotte's webbing. Now it's got these laser diamond cut, diamond shaped cut holes inside here. And what you do, you take these carabiners, pop them through the hole. Then you've got something strong enough to hold your gear. For example, I'll hold the weight of my pack easily. That's a great hanger system. So I can pop a few of these through here. Right there. And heck, I'll even throw on my Outdoor Elements mess kit. Check that out. Super easy to throw up, and then you have a camp organizer just like that. All right, so different angle, different view of the Charlotte's webbing. Real quick, easy camp organization right here. Very simple. Like I said, you run one end through the loop, wrap it through. You got these really cool laser cut diamond holes for durability. Can hold some weight. Holds my Everly stock pack loaded down. I've got at least two bottles of water in there and some gear on the inside. There you go. All right, now another really neat item by Outdoor Elements that I'm gonna show off to you here is their fire beaner. This thing right here is what I've been using for the last two weeks. Hold my keys on it. I carry it with me every single way, every place I go. Um, it's a really, really great design for a carabiner. It's uh, easy open, easy on and off my belt loop. Uh, it's got a, a flathead screwdriver tip right here. It's got a rope cutter on there. But the coolest part about this fire beaner is this. It's got a it's got a striker on there where we can shoot some sparks to make a fire so without any further ado let's make some fire all right so this here is the uberlieben flat pack twig stove um, i've put a little bit of this material right here some fiber light fire starting material right here into the center of this. And I'm gonna show you now how this cool little fire beaner here works. Um, I should be able to throw some sparks in here. 
and get that material started and then throw some twigs in there and get some water boiling. Now with the twig stove, you gotta keep throwing twigs in there, but look at that. It's got a good burn. Water's already starting to heat up. Looking nice. Now the next thing I'm gonna showcase while my lunch is getting ready down there is this other piece from Outdoor Elements. This here is like a roll up mess kit with a towel to clean your stuff off. Check it out, it's really neat. Look at that. Look at that. So it comes with a sweet little kit here. These two pole arms are attachments for any of your pieces, including, but not limited to, a toothbrush. Oh, check that out. We've got some boiling going on over there, folks. All right, well, let me pull that off, get that in there, and I'll show you how we put this together. All right, I'm gloved up and ready to go. Let's jump in here, grab this boiler off. Mm-hmm. Let's get our soup started. All right, so for this one, like I said, you get these two pole arm pieces screwed closed on the back right here on this end then they've got some openings on this end so for demonstration purposes I'm just gonna hook up the fork boom and the spoon there you go Titanium fork and spoon, very easy to assemble. There's also a, a toothbrush attachment. Check that out, screws on. Also, chopstick attachments, those screw on. And one of the cooler things about this setup is this little adapter piece right here. So, yeah, take out the plugs from the back end You slide on this silicone sleeve to both sides here. And now you have a pretty neat, let's get this over here, fire bellow. Help you keep good distance away from the fire so you don't burn your face. Look at that, got a little light back in there, a little fire lit back up. But having an additional bellows in here will help you get your fire started so you get your meal cooked quicker and then you can use the rest of these tools. That guys is about the gist of that. 